Hi, hello, welcome to Harsha Hill Star Cafe. That's gonna keep you fast, fun, and happy. Today, let's discuss about the fundamental duties mentioned in the Indian Constitution. Originally, in our Constitution, there was only fundamental rights. Fundamental duties was not even in frame. Every right has a correlative duty. In 1975, Indian government felt that Indians have no realization of their duties. So, in 1976, while emergency was on, Indian government formed a committee to make realization of duties to the citizens. That the government formed a committee called Sardar Swaran Singh Committee. So, it is this committee which recommended that we should introduce a separate, dedicated chapter for fundamental duties. and the congress government had accepted the committee's recommendation and the government came up with the 42nd amendment act this amendment is actually very big and it brought many major changes and itself is known as mini constitution so now after 42nd amendment act a new chapter was added in the constitution chapter 4a this chapter is all about fundamental duties the whole chapter is made up of only one article the article 51a in which all the fundamental duties are given and later through the 86th amendment one more fundamental duty was added because in the 42nd amendment only 10 fundamental duties were given a to j and in the 86th amendment one more was added which was k the fundamental rights of part 3 was mainly available for the citizens but it was also available for some non citizens but fundamental duties is applicable only on the citizens of india the main purpose of the fundamental duties are let's learn them in three points the first one is warning against the anti social activities anti social activities like burning flag or uh, disrespecting the constitution etc number 2 reminder of their duties it reminds that you have the rights to enjoy your fundamental rights but also you have to be responsible towards your duty so it is a reminder number 3 promote discipline and commitment to achieve the national goals fundamental duties promote discipline and commitment so let's have a look at the 11 fundamental duties mentioned in the article 51a clause a abide by the constitution and respect the national flag and the national anthem clause b cherish and follow the noble ideals which inspired our national struggle for freedom clause c uphold and protect the sovereignty and unity and integrity of india clause d defend the country and serve the nation when needed clause e promote harmony and spirit of common brotherhood clause f value and preserve rich heritage of our composite culture clause g protect and improve the natural environment clause h develop scientific temper humanism and spirit of inquiry clause i safeguard public property and to abjure violence clause j strike towards excellence in all spheres clause k provide opportunities for education to his child or ward between age of 6 to 14 years the important case laws the first one is bijoy emmanuel vs state of kerala This is also known as the national anthem case, and the second case is M C Mehta versus Union of India in the year nineteen eighty three.